Why is this person doing that if it's in Nigeria now? You can't do that. You cannot do that. Even in public, your mother or your father will disgrace you first before you. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Cody. If this is your first time, you are welcome. So in today's video, we'll be talking about the pros and cons of living in the Netherlands, which means the advantage and disadvantages of living in this beautiful country called the Netherlands. If this is your first time clicking on my video, kindly go ahead and subscribe and do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. This is to encourage me on my channel. So guys, let's dive right into this video so you will understand the pros and the cons well do i say that i like it i can't say do i say i hate it i can also say it all depends on the individual it all depends on the angle you view it so number one is equality oh my god guys if you live in the netherlands or you come to the netherlands everyone is viewed equal be you a child be you an adult, be you a teen, be you an whatever category you are, you are equal to every other thing. It's just like in I'm a Nigerian. When you go to events or you go to some certain places, as a kid, you'll be told, get up, let your elderly ones sit down. Or why are the kids seated? Why the the, the other people, the elders are standing? like it doesn't happen here or you there are some certain events you go to in nigeria or you go into a hotel or you go into a club there are places you go to they'll tell you no you can't go in as a girl because you're not with a man do you hear but here in the netherlands everyone is viewed equal you can step into anywhere you want to go to nobody will question you as long as it's within your age limits go go like go so i totally love it that everyone is viewed equal and everyone is perceived equal no one mistreats another no one says anything about your gender in such of you are a girl you are not meant to do this you are a child you're not meant to do this the blah 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 no so people i fuck it i love it here okay so number two is there are several tons and millions of discounts in, in this country what do i mean when you go to supermarkets you go to shops you go to shop for either clothes anything you go to shop for anything you go to shop for jewelries books accessories household items anything you go to there are discounts from January to December, there is there are discounts in every shops. Like I when I saw it, I'm like, why do they give discount? It makes you to shop and shop and shop. But I am also that person that if I don't need this, then I don't need it. Although there are some things you actually want to stock up in your house because you don't know if the discount is coming back again. So it makes you to buy, it makes you to give up your money. But I love that every time of the month in this country, in the Netherlands, there are discounts. So people get your cash ready because you'll be buying every day. <laughs> you'll be buying a lot of things because there are discounts in the shops and it helps actually gives you more quality some of them could be of low quality but just doesn't matter it all serves the purpose that is what matters okay so because we are not giving so much money to our just nothing so i totally love it and i enjoy it that there are discounts in nigeria where i come from is a bargain you need to bargain you need to price in some you price some you don't so the discount i love it totally i enjoy it the third pros and cons of living in the Netherlands is my dear brothers and my sisters in this country before you see a bank building before you can identify a bank it is very hard like 
all banks buildings have shut down so many of them have shut down because everything is done electronically everything is done through the phone everything is done through emails like there are no physical you when you walk into a bank here you could see just three two people five six persons and you're like is this a bank when you come to nigeria oh my god our banking buildings, the banking buildings, the banking hall, huge, big. I was shocked. Like, how do they do this? I don't get it. You, you hardly see bank buildings here in the Netherlands. And another thing is that every so many things have also gone pos which means is a cashless society as well so you don't even need your the, your card is doing everything for you if you have issues with your card you just make a phone call or send an email you know it is i don't i i couldn't find <laughs> i couldn't find the whole thing but yes it is what it is the life is going everyone enjoys it people are complaining people it's it all it, it's all a balance it all depends on which angle you view it so another reason the pros and cons of living in the netherlands is a lot of people speak english in this country so if you are a foreigner and you're trying your best you're trying that best to learn how to speak dutch Oh, brace yourself because everyone will speak English. Immediately they notice that you're not Dutch and you speak to them, they hear your accent or say that you made some mistakes in your Dutch. That is the end of the conversation. They are switching to English to you because they want to make you feel comfortable. But making you feel comfortable again, they do not realize that they are not do their they do no good to you because you want to learn the language in order for you to integrate into the system, in order for you to blend into the system, and in order for you to do everything you need to do in order for you to grab this language because you need to speak Dutch in the Netherlands. If you don't speak Dutch, your social life, your work system, shop, everything mentally, physically, spiritually. I said, did I say spiritual? spiritually everything you will be drained and it won't go the angle you actually want it so it is a good thing if you can learn how to speak dutch in this country i know they all speak english but you have to try your possible best to speak dutch as well so do i like it yes do i hate it yes is it all depends so is a pro and it's also a con so it is a two-sided two-sided some people want to learn dutch because you need to integrate into the system in order for you to adapt to every other thing happening in this country another reason the pro and cons of living in this country is freedom of speech my people welcome to the era of freedom of speech so what do i mean by this the young ones especially kids the teens they can talk to their parents in such a rudely manner let me come the first time i saw i saw some kids they were their parents were trying to make them feel comfortable get things for them and every other thing but the attitude and the way they were responding I was ashamed. I was covering my eyes for this person. I was like, why is this person doing that? If it's in Nigeria now, you can't do that. You cannot do that. Even in public, your mother or your father will disgrace you first before you disgrace them. So that freedom of speech, we say it is actually needed. It is important. Some kids here have taken it to a different level. You can't correct them. You can't tell them to do things. You can't let them know that what they are doing is wrong. You can't tell them, no, go this way or that way. Because they tell you, don't, you can't talk to me like that. If you can't touch me, I'm going to call the police for you. This blah, blah, blah. Stuff like that. So the freedom of speech is, is, 
I know this is one angle of the freedom of speech, but if you look at it as well, you see that it has affected a lot of people, it has affected a lot of parents, they don't talk to their kids, they don't have the communication skill with their kids because their kids are always rude to them. But in another angle, let's talk about the positive side here now. People are free to talk of, talk and speak up if there are abuses, if there are cases of mistreatment, if there are cases of misjudgment, if there are cases that you see that someone is doing something wrong to somebody that you can speak up to defend this person if this person can actually defend him or herself. So this freedom of speech has encouraged so many people, they speak up, they talk and let people know how they feel about things. So totally, I love it as well because I am somebody who is proactive. I talk about things. If I see you on the street or I see something that is not going well on the street, I speak up immediately and people will be like, but you just need to speak up. So I hope you have enjoyed this video so far. Let me know in the comment section what you think about every other thing I have just said so far. If a Dutch person and you agree to what I have said so far, but do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. This is to encourage me on my channel. But guys, I'll see you in the next of my videos. But first, let me see you in these videos. Have a wonderful day.